When I hear the words nature preserve and land conservation, the location I feel best represents these terms is Salt Lake Bog. Located in Rockford, Salt Lake Bog features forests, prairies, and bogs, all very distinct with their look and plant life, but they're also helping with the biodiversity for this area. I was first introduced to Salt Lake Bog over 15 years ago, and now I'd like to show it to you. So let's go take a look. Salt Lake Bog is well off the beaten path and thus easily missed by visitors. So when you arrive, you kind of feel transported to a different place, isolated from suburban and city life. Nature moves at a different pace out here, and that's a good thing. What do I look for when I come here? It varies every time. It may be how the sun lights up the Queen Anne's lace, so it looks delicate like a chandelier or how the light and shadows play off a depression in the ground, creating a circle amidst trees. The sun is hitting this little tree just right, and there's two paths that are intersecting, coming in at dynamic angles, that this setting right here, this composition really intrigues me. So I'm gonna use those intersecting paths as leading lines to draw your eyes further into the shot. My focal point is that little tree, and then the tree line behind it is creating a dark background for it. The backlight of the sun is then highlighting the tree to stand out against the grasslands. See the dew drops glistening on the tops of the grass blades? It's going to be a great shot of the grasses in this prairie. Now, when I photograph flowers, wild or otherwise, I try to focus on just one, like maybe the odd man out, because you want the viewer to focus on something. And if you just shoot a sea of flowers, there's nothing for you to focus on. Yeah, it's pretty, but to show the detail and the characteristics of a particular bloom, you want to focus on just one or two, usually an odd number, to make them stand out in your composition. So sometimes that's a different variety of flower than the sea of flowers surrounding it. And sometimes it's in the shape. It looks different than the others it's facing a different way, or it's larger or smaller, or it depends on how the sun hits it as well. So I'm on one of the boardwalks overlooking the bog, and the sun has come up and there are no clouds in the sky. So it's not exactly what I'm looking for in terms of infrared photography. I don't have those three elements that I look for, clouds, trees, and ground. But I just wanted to give you a better view of the bog to show you what it looks like close up, to give you a perspective of how big and vast the bog is. It stretches on quite a distance. So this is the bog. What can actually be seen is the top layer of plant material protecting the bog. In this state, it is both healthy and fragile. There is life here, it just looks different than what we're used to. The last time I was here, I spied these blooms growing amidst the railing. I found the juxtaposition of plant life growing up by and behind this wood railing fascinating. You can see straight lines versus organic lines, and it gives a sense of life versus death. 
the natural wood railing serves as a frame for the composition while also providing little windows into nature. The subtle and limited color hues add comfort to the composition, enriching it instead of in competition with it. So this view stopped me in my tracks as I was walking along the path and I'm going to take a picture of it because the tree on the right provides some framing for my shot. The overhanging branches above are blocking the sun so it's not shooting directly into my camera lens and it's also a great view of the prairie. I've talked about it in previous videos about filling this frame. And here I'm doing exactly that. So you've got the overhanging branches on the top taking place of the sky, which there are no clouds, so it would just be an open expanse. And then I've got the grass below, and it's kind of hilly, so it's going up. And then I've got the tree to the right. So my composition is filling the frame, and I'm also showing some of the characteristics of the location. into the forest now and what you'll want to pay attention when you're on this path, which is a natural path, are the red dots on trees. That's going to be your trail marker. So keep an eye out for those as you follow the path. So in the middle of my walk here through the trees, I spotted that one in the background and I really want to take a picture of that, but guess what? There's no trail that goes there. So instead of crashing through and stomping out vegetation, I'm going to stay on the path and take the best shot I can from here. And also, look where the path leads. It curves around and I've got it flanked by two trees. So that's going to also make for an interesting shot. So sometimes, from one position, you can get two different images. So continue to look around while you're out walking. Look in front of you, look behind you, look beside you, and maybe you're going to see more than one composition that you want to capture. In addition to protecting the bog, the Land Conservancy of West Michigan continues to restore the forests and the prairies here at this preserve. You can read more about Salt Lake Bog on their website, naturenearby.org. Thanks for exploring with me. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked and learned something new. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and getting notified when a new video posts. And I hope to see you out on the trails.